Our next speaker is Gulai Özkan, um, an engineer uh, back in the background and a designer at heart. And she's going to talk to us about design thinking and how we can apply it to the, ourselves and uh, to startups. Okay, thank you. Can I have my first slide? Yep, next one. Okay. Um, this is an iconic picture from 70s of Detroit. Uh, this was the, exactly the time that people uh, started enjoying the, the comfort that the cars bring. But the, uh, in the early uh, uh, years of 1960s, uh, there were almost 50,000 people were dying on the roads. And uh, people did not complain, and the car manufacturers didn't uh, really fix the problems uh, because cars were the symbol of this personal and uh, social transformation, and uh, they were the symbol of the democracy. If you criticize cars, you criticize democracy. And uh, at the end, this, this was the, how the things were, and uh, this was the nature of cars. Of course, things didn't continue like that. People did complain, and the uh, car manufacturers did solve the uh, problems. But we saw the same story in the uh, early days of internet, right? Uh, we were so happy in the beginning because uh, we were connected to anybody anywhere in the world almost for free, and we were enjoying the, the, this freedom of communication. But the, what happened until uh, the uh, Snowden and the WikiLeaks case, then we did realize that uh, this comfort is not for free. Uh, we pay uh, the price with our privacy. Uh, in the uh, a very nice book of... Um, Lee Shigel, in the, it's called The Race Against Machine, he says that the people in the early days of new technologies, they embrace the technology too readily, uh, just seeking the benefits and uh, ignoring the downfalls. And uh, this is how we have been going through the uh, technologies uh, so far. Now we are entering a new age. Uh, Everybody is talking about robots are entering our lives. Robots are stealing our jobs and then... Uh, they are going to bring some comfort to us. Uh, this is, let me introduce Osho Robot. This is um, a robot developed by fellow robots uh, and founded by uh, friend Marco Mascaron at Singularity University. Uh, Osho Robot basically helps the uh, clients of low retail chain in the States to help them when they come to the store, they help them about products, pricing, and features. Uh, but are we going to face the same thing about robots? Are we going to enjoy the comfort, but then pay the price uh, later? Uh, my name is Gilo Yoskan. I'm a founder of uh, Gets um, uh, Design and Innovation Studio. And I'm going to look at the, the, this, this picture from design, but more importantly, from human experience perspective. Uh, only in 2013, there were 43.5 billion dollars uh, investment made by the venture capital firms in the States. And then according to a study done by um, uh, Shikrar Ghosh at Harvard University, three quarters of venture-backed uh, firms uh, did not return to its investors. And when we look at the, the reasons behind this failure, the number one reason is technology entrepreneurs cannot really address the markets and cannot really address the human needs. And this is not surprising from our perspective, from design perspective, because we are looking at the 21st century's problems with the mindset of 20th century's, um, uh, 20th century's mindset. But the problems are changing and people's values, attitudes, and uh, expectations are changing. We cannot look at from the business model perspective or just pragmatic perspective to the problems. We need to change our starting point. We need to look at cultural codes, behaviors, uh, the people's desires first to be able to offer them the, the uh, solutions that can be really embraced by people. That's why design, this is where design exactly enters the picture. Uh, design is a lens that uh, can really uh, reframe the problems for technology people to create more meaningful uh, experiences and also increase the success in the entrepreneurial space. There are different approaches, but basically what you do is you look at the market trends, you check, the, the, of course, the, the market conditions. But then when you find a problem, you need to go back and uh, reframe that problem from human perspective. 
to be able to do that, we need to do a context research where you prepare the, all these questions from design research perspective, when they observe people's behaviors and then um, they ask uh, not direct questions, but try to build the empathy with them. And then you collect this data, which is extremely valuable, and you synthesize them, and you come up with the, with the design, what we call design opportunities. And then uh, design services or experiences according to these this design opportunities. Um, I don't, uh, I'm not saying the product design because what matters at the end is the experiences, not, not our uh, products. This is the, one of the main points that the technology entrepreneurs uh, fail. Uh, CG Robot is a uh, robotics company based in Ankara and Istanbul. I'm taking care of their, their design uh, mentoring. Um, uh, CG Robot aims to bring this, these social robots to our lives that can help us stay more, more alive. The first focus is Alzheimer patients, and then uh, with these social robots, um, uh, they are controlled by, the, by a mobile phone that, the, uh, that can be monitored by their doctors and their caregivers, and then just to keep them, give them some exercise and stay them more uh, alive. This was the first uh, prototype, but then um, uh, what we did uh, with this prototype, 25 caregivers and uh, uh, 10 uh, Alzheimer patients uh, tested uh, this new prototype, and uh, all these um, uh, context research questions were asked, and uh, it, everything was recorded. And at the end, this was analyzed, and uh, we, we came up with a new set of uh, design um, uh, perspectives to kind of um, redesign the uh, products. For example, we did realize that the caregiver needs uh, attention as much as the patients, even sometimes more. I'm very excited to see the, their next uh, phase. Last but not least, uh, New York Times, Harvard Business Review, all these big publications already said that we are entering the golden age of design. Uh, as Kyle from Wired says, um, we have arrived at a world of instant access and infinite capacity. And our next great challenge is not about capacity or access, but our next great challenge is coming up with more sane, more, more sensible, and perhaps even more surprising ways of enjoying it all. And uh, design can help us about that. And uh, please invest in design uh, to create uh, better solutions for, for humans. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So invest in design um, and design thinking. There are amazing books and there are people to follow. Um, as iPhone entered our lives, we just know what it means uh, for before and after.